Welcome Virgo. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks and what is going on for you and hopefully we'll be able to give you some guidance along the way. Okay, we're using the mystical reading, sorry, the mystical healing reading cards. Cards? Cards, goodness me. The Muse Tarot and Shadow Healing. Okay, so let's have a look here, Virgo and see what is going on for you. Give these a quick shuffle. Okay, so Virgo, stop breaking agreements. There's something I feel like, Virgo, that you're trying to run from. Um... trying to get away from there's a sense of um, misperception actually um, I feel like some denial actually going on for you and um, I just wonder if some of you feel like you're chained to something but um, that could be just how you perceive it I feel like um, you're trying to go in, in a direction that you may not even know where that's leading to. It's just this sense of like, oh, I've just got to get away. Oh, I've just got to get away. Uh, don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'll end up, but I'm going kind of thing. Yeah. Um, what else am I getting from this? Stop breaking agreements. You see, Virgo, this could also be an agreement with yourself. It could be that you have um, made a promise to yourself that if something happens, that um, not quite that. It's sort of like you will go... Okay, I'm not going to tolerate this and I'm not going to tolerate that. And then these things happen and yet you don't take the action that you that you would, um, that, you, that you said you would have taken. That was hard to get out. Um, yeah, it's sort of like in the moment it's like, yeah, nah, I wouldn't put up with that or I wouldn't put up with this. And when it comes to the crunch, it's not as easy as what you thought it would be to keep to that um the other thing is that for some of you virgos i feel as though you um actually have come away from something that Like, sort of um, in the heat of the moment, in a sense. Okay, I feel like, interestingly enough, for some of you, this is making sure that you actually um, keep to what you say in regards to your children. Even if it's something like, um, you know, in the sense of, say, promising to watch their sports game or promising to sit down and read a book with them and you're always finding yourself busy and running out of time and not actually, you know, being able to make that, um, actually uphold that promise. So it could be something along those lines for some of you, but let's have a look. Stop breaking agreements. Tell me more about this for Virgo, please. Stop breaking agreements for Virgo. Tell me more. Virgo. Stop breaking agreements. We've got the Ace of Materials and the Page of Voices. Okay. Hmm. Let's start with the Ace of Materials here. Ace of Materials. There's something you're in denial about, Virgo. Definitely something you're in denial about. 
very interesting because I just wonder if there's something that you keep promising um, that you'll do and you never get around to doing it. It's almost like it's almost like just saying that you'll do something to shut someone up sort of thing or just to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll do that, I'll do that and then you never do because it's not a priority for you but for the other person, it's a huge priority. Okay, so that could be, yeah, something going on. It's like sort of like you want to wave your magic wand and just be like, voila, you know. Um, the other thing I want to say about this is this actually... Virgo could be a um a something that you're very passionate about, something you want to start, be that a hobby um, or some kind of interest of yours. Um, and because there isn't a sense of urgency about it, you keep putting it off and you keep putting it off and you keep putting it off. Um, but I feel as though it's absolutely crucial for you to make time for this thing, okay, because it's for you, it's almost like you put yourself on the back burner all the time, and you're so busy doing all these other things, that you don't actually get to doing what it is you truly want to do, because there's all these other things that need to be taken care of, and I feel like you just need to actually go, you know what, this is a priority for me, and I need to do this for me, so I'm going to make time for this, and all these other things can wait just a minute while I do this, you know? Yeah, and we have the page of voices here as well. And um, I feel as though this is you needing to put on a pair of glasses to see what is going on for yourself. Because this is sort of like... <sighs> this is about you making either yourself or, you know, whatever your situation is, and the person or people involved in the situation, making that a priority, okay? Seeing how it is impacting um, those people or yourself in the bigger scheme of things, okay? Um, yeah. Because I feel like what's going to happen is there's going to be something that, like, there's this sort of like, it's an itch, right, that you scratch and scratch and scratch and you don't actually look at what is causing the itch and then all of a sudden it becomes this massive friggin', you know, hive or something, you know, and it's like actually seeing um, what it is, seeing what it is that um, is impacted um, by you not upholding your word, okay, even if it is yourself, okay, so, okay, so, there we go, next card is transform anger, interesting, transform anger, there's something you're holding on to that you're not letting go, and I feel as though um, you feel as though that that could be to punish the other person. But in fact, what's happening is you're the only one being punished by it, okay? It's hurting you more than anyone else. Virgo, tell me more about transform anger for Virgo, please. Tell me more about transform anger. Is that two cards? It is indeed. Two of materials, something you're trying to juggle. Man, I just keep getting this sense of denial here. Or not wanting to see. Or not wanting to see. Trying to juggle everything, but not really seeing the bigger picture for some reason. Not seeing. It's sort of, you know what? I, want, I just wonder for you, Virgo, if you're busying yourself so much so you don't have to feel the emotions that need to be felt. And you're ignoring those, okay? We also have the Queen of Voices, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's just such a sense of denial that I'm getting for some reason. But I feel as though um, there's some sort of truth that needs to be acknowledged here 
okay um that isn't be, being acknowledged and maybe this is this truth within you okay and maybe um it is these emotions that are trying to speak to you and trying to get your attention and you just are like no nah, not dealing with that today haven't got time um you know don't have the energy too tired got other things to do whatever um but they need to be dealt with because they will rear their ugly head okay access clear thinking i love this and with this queen of voices as well this is exactly what she knows how to do right um i also want to say with that is be aware of your words that are coming out of your mouth okay and um maybe just listen to yourself do you know what really helps sometimes virgo is for us to record ourselves so we can hear how we're how we're speaking um our tone specifically our tone okay um i know at the beginning of the year as a bit of a joke i was with my cousin and we were um, I, I was recording a conversation just, you know, just to have a laugh. And when we played it back, honestly, we were in fits of laughter at ourselves. And I came to realise that I sound very impatient just in my general speaking. And I was like, wow. And then my cousin had her own realisations about herself as well, you know. And... Yeah, it was really, really interesting. So, you know, this could be something that you do just to see how it is that you're coming across, right? Um, but yeah, this access clear thinking, I feel as though there's been sort of so much. It's like you've gotten yourself so busy that you can't even think straight. It's sort of like, you know, there's an answer in there somewhere, but you've sort of um there's been so much going on and this may not be consciously you may not have even done this purposefully but there's so much going on in there you're like i don't even know how to get to that answer anymore once upon a time i did but now i don't um and throughout some sort of process that you've been going through there were things that you did um, either to keep yourself busy or to help uplift you even but what's happened is it's sort of taken a turn and now it's not working in your favor anymore as it once did okay so I feel like this is very important for you um, to take the time to really sit sift through the thoughts okay work out what benefits you and what doesn't and discard the thoughts that don't okay or even the beliefs this could be about your beliefs okay and yeah yep yeah, we've got the seven of voices here and um yeah i feel like this is about you being um sifting through what's true for you and what's not okay really getting to the the authentic part of yourself and and seeing what you've taken on board because i feel like you've taken lots on board from other people and suggestions from other people which like i say did once upon a time help you but no longer is serving you and it's sort of like it's it's time to time to change the record i feel and um yeah I feel as though that, that this is very important for you to do. Okay, this is about, you know, certain tactics to approach a situation, okay, and how it is that you're going to do that, okay. And, and especially being a fox in here, right? Fox, foxes are very clever animals, okay, and they suss things out and they work out their approach and how they're going to go about it, how they're going to get around one thing and not be, in, be seen by another and or at least that's how I perceive foxes to be and so I feel like this is important for you the other thing I do want to say is make sure you're looking clearly at yourself and looking honestly at yourself okay um this is quite an important part of this okay um I feel like you will be able to access this clear thinking when you get true when you get honest and, you know, there might be things you don't want to admit. There might be things that you don't want to look at about yourself. And that's okay. 
You don't have to be hard on yourself. You can you can admit I don't want to look at that, you know. Um, but in order for us to make any sort of change in our lives, we need to look at ourselves. And in order for that change to occur, if we're not looking at ourselves honestly, there is not going to be a change, or at least not the change that is necessary for us to be able to get to the end result of where we want to go. We can dodge this and, and avoid you know, this and that and everything else, but it's not going to get us to where we want to go unless we've been truthful with ourselves, okay? Um, we also have the five of emotions here. The five of emotions. And again, I feel like this is about you letting th go of things that um, you, it, it, it's sort of like you keep holding on to things. Um, one, not to forget so that you don't maybe get tricked again or, or end up in that situation again. And two, to punish the other person, but they, they are doing what they're doing. You, you, you know, mentally and emotionally holding on to things to punish people is not serving you. It's doing nothing to the other people and it's definitely not serving you, okay? Um, so there may be work that needs to be done in that regard, Virgo. Okay, we have experience rebirth here. Yep, and I feel as though this is an opportunity for you, Virgo, to step in to another reality, depending on how you handle this situation. Okay, um, tell me more about experience rebirth. I feel as though, too many cards here, I feel like everything feels a bit muddled at the moment, and it's like a little bit, I feel like for some of you, you may feel as though you're in a bit of a twilight zone, I suppose, like things are not clear. This is the issue, things are not clear, and um, I feel as though I just am seeing you stepping out from one reality to another. And it's like this whole, it's like stepping into a whole new world. And, and I'm just seeing a cape wrapped around you. And as you step into the new world, you drop the cape. And the cape is what you were carrying. Okay, but when you step into the new world, the cape can't come with you. So it's sort of like you need to let go of that cape. Okay, that cape once protected you and it once served you and it kept you warm, but it's actually weighing you down now. So you'd need to drop it. Okay, um, and I don't mean that to sound um, as though, oh, we'll just forget about it. It's nothing. Um, but it's more so that there are things that really, really are not serving you, Virgo. Okay. Tell me more about experience rebirth. Okay. Two cards flipped over here. We've got the seven of inspiration here. I feel like you're keeping yourself small. Um... It's sort of like you're keeping yourself small, but you expect an expansion and it's not going to happen, okay? Um, and it could very well be, Virgo, that you're keeping yourself small because you feel vulnerable. Um, and it, that's part of it. It really is part of the growth, right? Um, we also have the lovers here, okay? And I'm just feeling as though with this, this is about, this is sort of about you bringing two aspects of yourself together, okay? It could be to do with a relationship, and it could be that there's been some sort of separation, um, and there are things that need to be put to rest. Yeah. And, and they need to be put to rest because you need to have this expansion, okay, in order for you to continue evolving and um, and only you can put them to rest. And I feel like for some of you, you may feel like the other person needs to take responsibility or take accountability or whatever, but it actually is not dependent upon them doing that. And if that's what you hold on to, to, then you're shirking the responsibility of you 
doing what it is that you need to do. You're allowing them to have that power over you that stops you moving forward. Okay? Very important here, Virgo. And I mean that in the most loving way. Okay? Um, love your body. Love your body. <laughs> I'm just hearing like some of you don't even want to be human anymore. Like, bugger this. This coming down to the earth and doing this rubbish. Who would ever choose to do that, you know? Love being human. For some of you, it is about your body, you know, and how you see yourself. Um, letting go of those thoughts of I'm ugly, I'm fat, I'm, you know, this and I'm that and ooh, look at my tummy and ooh, look at my legs and ooh, look at my, you know, whatever it is in your body, right? Um, and look, don't get me wrong, I know that it's not just a matter of like, oh, okay, I love my body, like, it takes work. This is all about self-love, yeah? Love your body, treat your body like a temple, thinking about what foods you put into it, thinking about how you speak to your body, because your body is an amazing machine. It is an absolutely amazing machine. The things it can do is mind-boggling, okay? So this is where... Virgo, it's an opportunity for you to be gentle with yourself. Talk to the cells in your body and let them know you appreciate the work that they're doing. Your body works so hard, day in, day out, even when you're asleep to keep you alive. Okay, and um, this is just part of you appreciating yourself. Okay, this is all part of self-love. Okay, so tell me more about love your body for Virgo, please. Tell me more. We've got the Hermit and we've got the Ace of Voice as well. You've got a new beginning going on here if you choose, if you choose to have this new beginning. And it depends on how this new beginning transpires as to how you approach it. Okay, so we've got the Hermit here. And what I love about this card in this deck is this is representative of this new beginning. About you coming out of the darkness here, Virgo, right? The sun is rising. The sun is rising. In the desert here... There is shelter, right? All along, there was shelter and there was protection, but you just couldn't see it. And so by clearing this thinking, right, this stinking thinking, I want to say, um, you will begin to see things for how they truly are. And things will become, become clearer when you put the glasses on, okay? Um, the Ace of Voices, yes, this is about the beginning of a new truth for you something that is very inspirational and I love this because this owl here is coming down and this is about this wisdom inside of you rising up and I really do feel Virgo that you hold so much wisdom inside that you can share with other people um, but you've sort of ignored that and you've suppressed it and now it's time for it to rise up and come out okay so yeah, this is a beginning of a new truth, okay, a new, a new story, there's a new story to be told, because the old story is done, there's no more chapters to be added on to that, okay, the end, I feel like you need to write the end, and begin your new story, okay, reverse disassociation, So this is about you needing to connect to these things that you've ignored for so long, okay? Um, this is about you needing to come into being present, okay? Um, because there's a door there for you to walk through. You have the key, okay? And the door's right there. But it's getting the two parts of you to marry up so that you can... And yeah, see, this is what I feel this love is, is about too. Um, it's about you getting an alignment either with other people or with another person or even with yourself because there's something that keeps, there's something amiss and it's a matter of you, yeah, getting this into alignment so that you can walk through the door into this new beginning, okay? I feel 
like for some of you, you want this new beginning, but it's like there are things that need to be changed, Virgo, in order for that to take place. And so I guess it's a matter of you looking at what it is that needs to be changed and um, for this new beginning to take place. Okay. Whoops. Too many cards. Oh, and I've missed a card. So let's start again. Okay, tell me more about reverse disassociation for Virgo, please. Two cards. Virgo. First card out is temperance. Everything in moderation here, right? Getting a good balance. Being patient with yourself, right? What's what's your purpose, right? What, you know, really tapping inside here and finding out what is it that I want to truly do? What is my purpose? What's my mission here? Okay, and, and making sure that you get everything into balance that you need to bring into balance in order to, to pursue that. Okay, one more card for reverse disassociation for Virgo, please. The devil. Yep, letting go of the things that are no longer serving you, right? Allowing yourself to rise up from the ashes, I feel, honestly, you are in control. There's part of you that doesn't feel like you're in control. You feel like there are other aspects of your life that have control over you. And, um, and you know, before when I was saying about you giving your power away and stuff like that, you may not even realize that you're doing that, right, by giving other people control. So it really is about you looking at that very clearly and honestly about how you're doing that in your life, okay, um, so that you can regain that control, take it back, and actually start to move forward without that cape. Again, there's this cape that I'm seeing. Oh, and five of emotions here. Look at what she's got wrapped around her. Some sort of cape. So yes, dropping that cape. And in the hermit card here, the hood's off. The hood is off. Okay. And we have the temperance card here where the cape is no longer in existence. I really love this here. Okay, so. I feel like, I feel like you letting go of the things that don't serve you anymore, Virgo, will allow your wings to... fully develop so that you can reach the heights that are there for you to reach okay so let us have a look at shadow healing now okay so shadow healing for Virgo we have this one drop jump out and I'm not sure no I don't want to take it okay Virgo three cards for Virgo please from shadow shadow healing first card what's that one suffering Two more cards for Virgo, please. Two more cards for Virgo. Two more cards for Virgo. Overwhelmed. Too many cards. <laughs> One more card for Virgo, please. Ooh, almost. Okay, let's do, do these two cards and we'll get the last one in a minute. Okay, first card up here is Suffering. Virgo. Thinking that no one knows the pain you're enduring is just another form of self-pity. Every soul experiences pain. It's what we do with that pain that defines our future. Yes. Love it. So making sure that you're not holding on to things and wallowing and, you know, yeah, doing what you can in order to heal, okay? Overwhelmed. Sharing responsibilities is not a weakness of character. In fact, it demonstrates an ability to trust in others and allows them the opportunity to participate. 
Oh, I like that. I really like that. And this is the case with children too, if you have children. Okay, so tell me more. Oh, sorry. One more. So there you go. Here we go. Irritation. Irritation. There comes a time when standing up and being counted may not necessarily resolve the issue, but it sure feels good when you're finally heard. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Virgo? And I feel like this is what you need, is someone to hear you. And you, actually, for you to hear yourself, okay? Um, so yeah, listen to what your body is saying to you, okay? Okay, Virgo, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.